Have you ever heard that if you put your tongue on a cold metal pole, it'll stick? But what if you were to put your tongue on a wooden pole? It wouldn't stick. Well, do you know why this might be? The answer is thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity is a transfer of heat from a hot object to a cold object. When the tongue sticks to a cold metal pole, heat is transferred from the body to the pole. Because both the tongue and the pole are solids, thermal energy is transferred very easily. The temperature of the tongue drops significantly, causing saliva to freeze, and the ice will hold the tongue and the pole close together. Warning, don't try this at home. This is reversible, luckily. Because this only happens due to the decrease in temperature on the tongue, it is possible to use warm water to detach the tongue from the pole. The warmth of the water will easily melt the ice, allowing the tongue to be released. Another example of thermal conductivity is the handle of almost every pot or pan inside of your home. Plastic or wood are used to move things that are heated by metal because they contain very little thermal conductivity. Most metals are heat conductors and contain detached electrons, which allow heat to pass through fairly easily. On the other hand, we have non-metal materials such as wood or plastic, which to some degree can allow heat to transfer but it occurs through phonons, which are waves in the lattice. These lattice waves vibrate according to the frequency of an object. High frequency vibrations are associated with the heat of an object, while the low frequency vibrations are associated with the sound of the material. Therefore, the nonmetal materials have a high frequency vibration, which means they won't let heat pass as easily. What other things are affected by thermal conductivity? Leave your ideas in the comments below.